Hey, this is Ago, and in this short video, I want to give you a quick five-step process to overcome virtually any objection that you will come up against. Now, I know what you're thinking. Objections, those are bad things, right? Well, not so fast. Not always, because here's the thing. If you really think about it, what a buyer is trying to say to you is, I want to buy from you. I'm interested enough. I'm intrigued enough by what you're telling me. But there are a few things that need to be in order before we can move forward. And if you think about objections in that way, that becomes a lot more interesting. So the first step in any objection is to really listen. Now, when I say this in a room, you know, people always say, but Ago, I'm always not listening to my clients. And I'm sure that's true. But what I'm talking about is really listening. I mean, it's listening, not just with your ears, but with your eyes, looking for clues, listening to their body language, the way they move, the way they speak, their tone, their speed of voice, their intonation, but also the way they behave, the way they sit, the way they um, you know, the way they express themselves, their, their nonverbal body language. Um, and you really, really want to give people time. Don't jump in, don't respond, don't even think about what you're going to say. Just let them you know, lay out the objections in front of you and give them time to do so. Once you've listened, the second step is to make sure you understand. And those are two different things. Listening is about getting your buyer or whoever is in front of you to spill the beans, if you will, to really talk about the things that need to be in order before they move forward. Understanding is about helping you understand the question behind the question. Let me say that again. Understanding is about the question behind the question or the objection behind the objection. It's about understanding why certain things are so important to them, why certain things would block them from moving forward. So now that you've listened and now that you've understood what they're trying to get to, the third step and only the third step is to start responding. And the way that I recommend you respond is by testing a potential solution or testing a potential scenario. Um, if they tell you that the price is too high and you understand that um, it is because not just a price is too high because they have a certain budget, then try to float a scenario where perhaps for you know, a little bit less, you can do something different. You can, you can create a different offer. You can create a different solution that would still fulfill their needs needs and fall within their budget. And once you've done that, once you've laid out your response, the next step is to confirm. It's to confirm whether or not your response, your solution, your scenario meets their needs. And that's just basically as simple sometimes as asking, you know, if we do that, is that something that you could live with? Is that something that would mean that we could move forward? Now, here's the thing. If they say no, don't be discouraged. Just ask them, well, what would be, you know, the thing that you would need or what else can you think of that would get us there? And if they say yes, don't be too fast. Just a simple question like, are you sure? That would really, really help. And then the final step is to continue. Um, the final step is to continue. And, and I'm saying this, I'm explicitly bringing this up because an objection is just one more hurdle in an entire process. So now you can move forward throughout the sale. Now you can move forward towards, you know, whatever phase in the process you are in, whether it's a proposal or whether it's a, a next step or whether it's a, uh, another call or a meeting or maybe even, you know, closing or sealing the deal. But um, only now can you, can you move forward, can you continue? So there you go, five easy steps. Listen, understand, com respond, confirm, and continue. Listen, understand, respond, confirm, continue. Hopefully that was useful. Hope to see you on another one of these videos. And in the meantime, good luck out there.